Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a special 4th of July edition. I'm going over some of my favorite decks in red, white, and blue. This is one of my favorite holidays from growing up as a kid. I definitely enjoyed it. I lived in the middle of nowhere for a while in Lewiston, Idaho, and that was one of those places that didn't have any real restrictions on what you can do with fireworks. So I remember shooting off large amounts of fireworks, probably slightly unsafely, in our front yard in somewhere that was 100 plus degree weather that uh, hadn't had rain for several months. Now I live in Seattle and uh, they pretty much banned that. I think that uh, the holiday has been made a little bit safer. I definitely miss those fireworks from being a kid. Now let's jump into some decks here. Uh, this is one of the most powerful color combinations in Magic and in Standard right now. There are some wonderful cards. Soulfire Grandmaster, Mantis Rider, Goblin Rabble Master. It's taken a little while for people to really innovate on Soulfire Grandmaster, but I really like Kevin Jones's current list from SCG a few weeks ago. Really strong um, kind of tempo aggro deck, but it's got a higher end to it with the Dragon Lords and the ability to take some of these burn spells and buy them back with Soulfire Grandmaster. If I was going to play in a competitive standard tournament right now, this is the list that I would use. Kevin Jones has done a really good job with this. Modern is where red, white, and blue really shines. I've been a huge fan of this for a while. I am currently playing a list that includes Geiss, Electrolyze, Path to Exile, Lightning Bolt, and Snapcaster Mage. This is the list as I played it in Portland. I'm going to be doing an updated list of it soon. It is my singleton list. Lots of singletons. Very difficult for people to deal with. A lot of people mistake it for being a control list when it is really an aggro tempo list. So much fun to play. In Legacy, Stoneblade is probably the strongest of the current red, white, and blue lists. Although I've also seen some mentor lists that I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, Force of Will is the glue that keeps Legacy together, and if you get a chance to play Force of Will, I definitely recommend it. Wear and Tear is probably the best red-white card in the format. It just hits so many decks and is a great sideboard card. True Name Nemesis combos so well with Stoneforge Mystic. Get a Jute on a True Name and you can beat pretty much any fair deck out there. This is the list that I currently like in Legacy. Uh, as you'll notice, it's from Kevin Jones again. He's pretty much one of the strongest red, white, and blue players out there. What I like about this list in particular is the flexibility that it has main deck. It runs Council's Judgment, Supreme Verdict, a lot of two ofs, and then your really powerful spells, your Brainstorm and Force of Will is four of, along with Stoneforge Mystic. This is very, very good against fair decks. If you're playing against a combo environment, I might put a little bit more control in there, but very strong overall. In Vintage, Red, White, and Blue has just started to bloom as a very powerful deck combination because of Monastery Mentor. Mentor, I think, is slightly playable in Legacy, but it really shines when we get to Vintage. Also, Dak Faden is the best Planeswalker in Vintage. Yes, better than Jace the Mind Sculptor. In so many cases, you are stealing moxes or other good cards from people. It swings the workshop matchup from them to you. And then blue has some of the strongest cards out there. You will also notice, though, that Lightning Bolt is played in this deck. Yes, Ancestral Recall is a one of, Lightning Bolt is a two of. Okay, maybe Ancestral is uh, on the restricted list. I would play four Ancestrals, no problem. But the fact that Lightning Bolt is legal in every format and dominates those formats, just an incredible card overall. It is up there with the top blue cards for putting in and building in any environment. This is the deck list that I've been exploring with on uh, Vintage, Red, White, and Blue. It's still a little bit behind my personal preference of Bug right now. It feels like a combo deck. You get out your Monastery Mentor and just destroy them. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic is great against the fair decks, but if you're playing against a lot of combo decks, you're kind of playing a little bit of a slower combo deck yourself. Uh, Gush is probably the most underrated card in this deck. It can get you back into the game while you are well outside of striking distance from somebody. And when you've got a mentor in play, 
you're often able to cast a few more spells that turn and threaten to win the following turn. This is a fun control deck. Definitely check it out for Vintage. As you've noticed, I did not put together a commander deck here. I am looking at putting together a commander deck in red, white, and blue, but I would like to hear your suggestions. It's a color combination I have not played in commander at all. I do like control and fair decks, so please leave out the uh, Narsa super fast combo suggestions. And uh, about a month from now, I will put together a deck list based on suggestions to this video. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, please explode that subscribe button over there. I would greatly appreciate your help making more wonderful videos. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon. We've got some great videos coming out this week, including one on death and taxes and a top 20 green EDH cards.